King Kong is here on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, released by Paramount. It can be found as a non-exclusive steelbook available at your online retailers. Now, I was about in my mid-20s when I first watched the 1976 version of King Kong. I know in some circles the movie gets a bad rap, but I really found it enjoyable. Jeff Bridges and Charles Grodin do a solid job in their parts, but for me, the real star is Jessica Lange in her first role. While King Kong certainly won't measure up to the special effects of today, the film has some pretty impressive feats in that area given the time period. It's worth a watch and I feel holds up very well. King Kong on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray has an aspect ratio of 235 to 1 with native 4K resolution and supports both HDR10 and Dolby Vision. For purposes of this review, I will be discussing the Dolby Vision encode. As per usual with Paramount 4K released catalog titles, not much information was given in the press release about restoration efforts for the film for this disc. It is known, however, that a restoration was given to the film and was used on the Studio Canal International 4K version released in 2022. Having watched this 4K disc from Paramount, I'm pretty satisfied that the transfer is the same restoration. Condition-wise, it does look pretty free from most source blemishes, aside from some very minor bits of dirt here and there. It looks as if Paramount mercifully laid off the DNR button, as grain is nicely preserved. It's medium and overall density, appearing slightly heavier in the optical or special effects heavy shots. Now, for those pixel counters out there, the average bit rates on the disc are downright abysmal at times. Typically, it's seen bit rates hovered in the low 30s, often hitting single digits, but rarely going above 50. On my 65-inch OLED, this didn't seem to detract from the image quality, but those with larger screens may notice differently. I will be joining the 83-inch club in a few months, so I'm sure I'll find out for myself shortly. Before you ask, no, I do not own the Studio Canal disc for me to be able to compare the two. I have read, however, that it does have a slight teal push, which I did also find to be the case on Paramount's 4K. I found the palette to be visually very pleasing overall. Supporting Dolby Vision, colors are often very striking, especially in regards to well-lit daytime scenes. When the film gets to the island, these to me are among the best-looking sequences that allow Dolby Vision to really shine. The scene where Kong is put on display in New York, reds pop visually from the signage and the decor. Skin tones lean warm throughout, and whites appear stable without being overblown. Black levels are deep, and I do mean deep. Often it looks as if Kong is getting swallowed by the darkness of night or the interior of his prison aboard the ship, which results in the drowning out of detail. This could be intentional from the source, so I'm hesitant to call out Crush here, but I also wouldn't rule it out either. With the 4K resolution bump, close-ups often exhibit very satisfying levels of detail. Aside from occasional source-related soft shots, textures on display look really solid. So, Jessica Lange fans, this 4K has you covered. Her, sometimes not so much. King Kong on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray supports a DTS 5.1 audio mix. Interestingly enough, Paramount chose to forego the original 2.0 track as an option and relies solely on the DTS 5.1. This omission will no doubt annoy the hardcore audio purists out there, and it does seem like a puzzling decision. As for the DTS 5.1, it's fine, but isn't the most exciting track in regards to immersion. Surround activity is pretty minimal, only sparking to life during the ceremony from the island's inhabitants, or in the third act when Kong is first revealed to the citizens. There were plenty of infill moments that could have easily made use of those channels, but ultimately it wasn't meant to be. The fronts do a good job with their respective audio cues, and the center is clean with no issues in dialogue reproduction. The LFE offers some heft when called for, most notably in the third act. It doesn't go too aggressive, but it does move the needle some despite the age of the film itself. Now, I've seen early reports that the 4K disc has a slight audio sync issue in regards to the implementation of a bit of the score in one segment of the film. At the 1 hour, 13 minute, and 23 second mark, there is a slight delay of the score, which on the 4K starts at 1 hour, 13 minutes, and 25 seconds. When I produce the same timestamp on the Shout Factory Blu-ray disc, it does indeed start when it's supposed to. I also checked the iTunes digital version of the 4K. The error also appeared in the same spot. Admittedly, I don't know the film nearly that well enough to even notice. I certainly didn't during my initial viewing. The delay does not affect other aspects of the audio playback, dialogue, or in-film action, or even the score which was affected initially. So for the rest of the movie, it played just fine. This could be addressed by Paramount in regards to a disc replacement like with Rosemary's Baby and that audio issue, so we'll have to wait and see. Honestly, I don't even think that most viewers would notice something is amiss here, but it should still be addressed nonetheless. Aside from a trailer, there are absolutely no extras of any kind in either the 4K or Blu-ray disc included. The extras from the Shout Factory disc are nowhere to be found, which from what I understand were included on the Studio Canal 4K previously released. On the Blu-ray disc, however, is the extended TV cut of the film. 
No 4K transfer here, which was given such on the Studio Canal disc, but this text does appear at the beginning of the Blu-ray. For the picture quality, I'm going to give King Kong on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray a B+. For the most part, the film does have a good-looking presence on the format. Color shows strong boldness throughout, grain is filmic, and the source is in good shape. If you're a fan that is more about the visual upgrade, this should please you. For the audio mix, I scored this one a C. It's a bit disappointing that at the very least the original 2.0 track wasn't included, but the 5.1 is pretty good overall. The mix is mostly front-heavy with sporadic surround audio cues peppered in here and there. I feel as if more could have been done in this department, but Paramount has given us a bare-bones audio experience. For the extras, I scored them an F. I'm baffled as to why there were no supplements included with this release. I'm sure rights issues have some impact here, and I suppose it was too much to expect Paramount to offer anything on their own. If you're an extras fan, you better hold on to your Shout Factory Blu-ray. So that is my review of King Kong on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. If you're interested in picking up a copy for yourself, I will leave a direct Amazon link in the comments section. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But now I want to hear from you. If you have the 4K disc already, let me know your thoughts down below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 I will see you at the movies.